Good morning from the heart, December 9th, God's Sabbath. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God, Exodus 20, verse 10. When God created the earth and placed human beings upon it, he divided time into seven periods. Six he gave to us for our own use to employ in secular business. One he reserved for himself. Having rested on the seventh day, he blessed and sanctified it. Henceforth, the seventh day was to be regarded as the Lord's rest day and to be sacredly observed as the memorial of his creative work. It was not the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth day that was sanctified or set apart to a holy use. Neither was it a seventh part of time and no day in particular, but it was the seventh day, the day upon which God had rested. When the law was given at Mount Sinai, the Sabbath was placed in the midst of moral precepts in the very bosom of the Decalogue. But the Sabbath institution was not then made known for the first time. The fourth commandment places its origin at creation. The Creator's rest day was hallowed by Adam in Holy Eden and by the people of God throughout the patriarchal ages. During Israel's long bondage in Egypt, uh, under taskmasters that knew not God, they could not keep the Sabbath. Therefore, the Lord brought them out where they could remember his holy day. A threefold miracle was wrought in honor of the Sabbath even before the law was given on Sinai. A double quantity of manna fell on the sixth day, none upon the Sabbath, and the portion needed for the Sabbath was preserved sweet and pure, when if any were kept over at any other time, it became unfit for food. Here is conclusive evidence that the Sabbath was instituted at creation, because some people think it's just for the Jews. When the foundations of the earth was laid, when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy and its sacredness remains unchanged and will so remain even to the close of time. From the creation, every precept of the divine law has been obligatory on mankind and has been ab abolished is one of Satan's devices to compass the ruin of the race. The holy oracles were especially committed to the Jews. Not to be an Israelite was not to belong to the favored people of God. Now the prophet declares that the stranger who will love and obey God shall enjoy the privileges that have belonged exclusively to the chosen people. Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.